My name is Sue Gwen Chung. I'm an artist and researcher based in New York City. The focus of my practice is on human and robotic collaboration. My mother's actually a software engineer and my father's an opera singer. I've definitely grown up in the generation where uh, I saw the computer as a, a real tool to expand my creativity. So in my performance work, it's usually me with a series of robots all uh, sort of sharing these gestures on a canvas. Doug is the name I call my robotic uh, drawing collaborator. Uh, it's an acronym that stands for Drawing Operations Unit, Generation 1, 2, and 3. It's a little bit easier to say than the whole title and it just kind of stuck. The output of the drawing system is really a reflection of the work that not only I've done to date, but the work I'm creating in real time. It's something that is really unpredictable every time I do it. I'm not sure how I feel about that sometimes, actually. Yes. So the part that I really gravitate towards without a doubt is the process. In some ways you could say that with our new visual culture that images are really disposable. I'm really interested in thinking about um, the explicit time and gesture and that uh, it took to make a, an image. I'm starting to view them a little bit like kinetic sculptures. The the primary driver of the robots is a recurrent neural network that essentially generates a most likely behavior based on the model it's trained on. It could probably forage, but I'd be more impressed if it cut off its own ear. I think these systems become a self-portrait of parts of society uh, and the promises, possibilities, and paranoias of um, what, what we're actually inputting into the system. So in that way, uh, I think the AI is a self-portrait of us. I think it's an adaptation of um, these theistic desires that we've had throughout history, and an almost like this godlike consciousness that renders humans obsolete. Um, that is definitely one approach to um, AI works. Uh, I think for me, the things that I'm interested in is this commingling. I think about cynicism a lot when thinking about technology and, and how, you know, sometimes it's justified, but I don't think it's useful for thinking about the future because it really limits the imagination. So painting in virtual reality is sort of not like painting in regular reality. It turns into more something like sculpture. I definitely think human and machine collaboration will become more common because, you know, technology has become so ingrained in our everyday lives. So I think Leonardo da Vinci would, because he was a bit of a polymath, kind of a nerd. I think so, because I think there's been a lot of AI that's been trained on natural systems, and I think she'd find that fascinating. I think Frida Kahlo would, and she'd do something really original with it. I don't think Norman Rockwell, too old school. I hope so. I think there needs to be more women working with technology. These answers are gonna get way more crazy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>